true story of atomic bomb. All we know that the first was the Trinity on July 16 in 1945. American commissioned European scientists to develop the bomb. The scientists had many remote for creating such a weapon, but ultimately realized it. The experiment took place as expected, and the Trinity bomb was the first to explode. Now America had the atomic bomb. Or rather, America has exploded its first and only atomic bomb. Well, yes, at the explosion of a Trinity bomb, scientists were well aware that there was no more fissile material to produce a second bomb and that was the only reason they agreed to build it. Fate soon turned out bad. The Nazis had put in place two nuclear programs. One civilian and one military. They developed a nuclear reactor and the atomic bomb project. Their purpose was to load the nuclear warhead on V2. Although their program was far more advanced than the American one with nuclear-shaped charge weapons, they did not have time to build it due to the sabotage made by Nazi scientists themselves for remotes to build such heavy weapons. The Nazi, shortly before losing the war, made a strategic move. They loaded an oceanic submarine, the U-boat 234, in the direction of Japan with all their most advanced technology. All jet engine aircraft, missile parts and all most secret projects including those for the construction of a nuclear bomb. And in a separate compartment there were also 500 kg of plutonium, uranium and heavy water to build two bombs. On April 30, in 1945, Germany lost the war and Hitler committed suicide in the bunker. With the end of the war, it communicated to all troops to surrender. To the submarine was given the choice to continue its mission or to re-emerge and surrender. The submarine on 9 May in 1945 re-emerged and surrendered to the Americans, who found the fissile material and the heavy water. Well, yes, the bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki were built with the fissile material extracted and worked by the Nazis, which material had been dispatched to Japan, but will come sadly in the form of bombs ending a bloody war with the most brutal extermination of innocent people.